India Physical Divisions India is a big and beautiful country. It is a motherland. India is the seventh largest country in the world. We have numerous cities, hills, mountains and rivers in our country. If we travel from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, we cover a distance of about 3200 kilometers. The widest distance from eastern to western part of the country is about 3000 kilometers. India is located in the southern part of Asia, which is the largest continent of the world. The land of our country is not same everywhere. It varies from place to place. We have high mountains in the north, rocky plateau in the south, and vast fertile plain in the middle. Many rivers arise in the mountains. The climate of our country is not always same. It is hot and dry in some parts, while at other places it is hot and wet. There are very high and long mountain ranges present in the north and northeastern part of our country. These are the Himalayas, the pride of India. A large flat area is there to the south of the Himalayas. These are the northern plains. The peninsular plateau is situated towards the south of the northern plain and extends down to the Kanyakumari, the southern tip of India, the Himalayas. The Himalayas are the highest mountain range in the world. It is a wall of India. The Himalayas in India extend from Kashmir in the west to Arunachal Pradesh in the east for a distance of about 2500 kilometers. The beauty of the Himalayas has always attracted tourists, men and women from all over the world. Many mountaineers tried to climb the mountain peaks. The Himalayas are divided into four parallel zones. These are Himadri or the Great Himalaya, the Shivalik Hills and the Terai. The Himadri is the Great Himalaya. It is present in the extreme north and it is the highest part, always covered with snow. In some places, the snow moves slowly. The movement of the snow is called as glaciers. The Himachal lies to the south of the Great Himalaya. This is the lower range of mountains. In this, the snow melts during the summer and the water flows into the river. Shivalik hills are present further south and are lower in height. The slopes have thick forests and full of wild animals. The foothills of the Shivaliks are called as Terai. The Himalayas are very important and useful for our country for these reasons. 1. The rivers originating carry fertile soil from the mountains to the plains. 2. The forests provide valuable wood and herbs to the mankind. The forests present around the Himalayas are the natural home of many kinds of birds and animals. 4. They form a natural protection border wall along the northern borders. The Northern Plains Northern Plain lies to the south of the Himalayan mountains. This region is called as Northern Plain. It starts from Punjab in the west to Assam in the east. The states of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and parts of Assam lie in the Northern Plain. Many rivers flow through the Northern Plain. The three main rivers of the Northern Plain divide it into three river basins. A basin is an area watered by a river and its tributaries. The three main basins of Northern Plain are 1. The Satlaj Basin 2. The Ganga Basin and 3. 
the brahmaputra basin the ganga and the brahmaputra form the biggest delta in the world called as sundarbans the peninsular plateau it is a table land and is composed of old crystalline igneous metamorphic rock the peninsular plateau is the oldest landmass it can be divided into two regions one the central highland two the deccan plateau the central highland has aravalli hills in the northwest the raj mahal hills are in the chota nagpur plateau in the northeast the western ghats with nilgiris and the cardamom hills in the west the general slope of the plateaus is from west to east on the eastern side is the chota nagpur plateau which is rich in mineral resources large deposits of coal iron and manganese are found here many industries are based on these minerals The Deccan plateau has an uneven surface. The soils are not deep and the color also varies from place to place. Cotton and sugarcane is widely grown in Deccan plateau. Large deposits of iron, mica and gold are found in this part of the plateau. Kolar gold mines in Karnataka are located in the deccan plateau the deccan plateau forms a large portion of south india